So I get a knock on the door. And guess what, YouTube? It's DPD. Uh, just before Christmas, Christmas Eve, I, I went on Guitar Guitars, pre-owned section. And I seen his fuzz pedal. And I thought, that looks cool. Looks different. And I checked at other prices, like on Reverb and eBay. And what they were when they were new. And they were pretty expensive pedals. So I thought, well, it's 39 quid. Give it a go. So rang the guy up. They wouldn't budge on the price. But then I asked if they got any tremolo pedals. And they said, just got one in in another store. A tremolo pedal. Um, and the tremolo pedal was an absolutely bargain. Um, yeah, let, let's open the packages and let's see what we got inside. And you can see it's the Tremolo TR2, all boxed up like new. It was a bargain, had to have it. But I think they only give me a bargain because I've bought so much in the past with them. But yeah, basically guys, this boss pedal with the box and everything. It was a pretty sought after pedal. Um, it was 40 quid, including delivery. So, which is pretty good price for, off a guitar shop for a Boss pedal. So, yeah, it's made in Taiwan, of course. And yeah, it, it looks like new. It's brilliant. Um, instructions, box, everything you need. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to plug this in and try it and see what I think. Um, some pedals stick with me, some pedals don't. I try different pedals to see what works for me. So yeah, I've got my reverb pedal. I'm pretty happy with my, with my uh, spring reverb. I got given that. I got lucky on that. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd give this a try. Obviously it's well built because it's boss. So yeah, let's open the other package. So I managed to get the uh, DPD packaging off it. So that must be the receipt. I paid for it. And uh, there we go. This is it. It's uh, called Ruby Fuzz. It's a good looking woman on it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Looks an interesting pedal because apparently it's a uh, you can it takes a battery as well and it's quite a, it's quite a, it's a mini pedal or something like that. It, it's a re rechargeable battery apparently or I think I could be wrong, but it it wasn't very expensive so I thought I'd give it a go and it looked it looked good quality pedal. It looked very expensive new. Look, it, it comes with a. The Velcro as well. This is like new as well. This is like new. And like I said, this costs less than 40 quid. Um, I don't know because it was Christmas as well. They selling things cheap, but let's have a let's have a good look at it. Let's get it out of the box. There we go. Look, it even comes with the, is it the yeah, it's the booklet that comes with it. It's like new, yeah. It's like brand new. That seems very heavy, very well made. Very, very well made. Seems very, very well made. Yeah, it's a mini pedal. And it's just simple fuzz pedal. Volume and then fuzz. That's all I wanted. Simple fuzz pedal. 2011, apparently. So yeah, it takes a, a rechargeable battery or something. Remove and replace battery. So I think you, I think you have to. Yeah, I'll have to read up about it more. But yeah, it looks a very good quality pedal, and I'm telling you, it's got some weight to it, and the switching's very good. It's just like an MXR, or or that Boss pedal. So just comparing the two pedals, they're both the same standard in quality, um, fantastic quality. You can already feel that. But yeah, let's plug them in. Let's see. Make sure everything works. Um, but I wouldn't have thought 
you know, there'd be no problems because all this stuff gets tested and it looks like brand new, to be honest. You know, both pedals do. So today's guitar for the demo is a Tokai 1985 Breezy Sound Telecaster. These are the amp settings. I'm going to play the pedal through. Just get closer, you can see. The boost button's gonna be off. It's gonna be clean, just straight. The pedal is true bypass, so it's, um, yeah, it's just gonna be the clean amp sound and the fuzz pedal. So yeah, I've got the amp on and I've got the guitar plugged in and there are the settings. So volume's about two o'clock and it's uh, just after one, the fuzz. And this is what it sounds like. So here we go, fuzz pedal, neck pickup. <laughs> as well at the same time like it's in between both um please in the comments let me know if i'm talking rubbish there but to me it sounds a warm fuzz but it also sounds very henrix inspired as well sort of thing um but yeah it's not a bad pedal <laughs> so middle pickup Remember, this is just running off the battery, so I'll, 
I'll have it on my board and put it, you know, the first pedal on the board because it's true bypass, it's fuzz as well, and it can be quite fussy uh, in the chain. And um, yeah, I'll obviously run it off the mains. I've got the volume on really low and everything because of the neighbours, and the output, like I said, is not up that high either, so. But yeah. to show the fuzz a bit more bridge pickup on the tele and the output is uh, on full uh, obviously the amps low as you know and the fuzz is still at two o'clock and this is the kind of thing <laughs> So as you can see, I've got the tremolo on the board and I've got the fuzz at the start and uh, the reverb's on and the uh, MXR OD is my amp sound. And this is what the tremolo sounds like anyway. So on the tremolo, I've been playing around with it and I've just picked a setting I thought sounded okay, you know. Um, I have noticed one thing with it, it drops in volume. Um, this boss pedal was made in 2015 looking at the serial number, um, but it's like brand new, so. But yeah. You can hear it's a tremolo sound. Yeah. 
I tried playing around putting it in a different place on my board like at the end after the reverb and or before the reverb and it it sounded exactly the same really so I've just put it bang in the middle you know If I turn the tremolo off, there's a bit more volume. Put the tremolo on. So if I turn the reverb up on the TC electronic. Conclusion on the two pedals. I got a good deal on them, um, but I'll be honest with you, um, I'm very disappointed with the Boss pedal. Um, I like Boss pedals, and the Boss pedals I've had have been pretty good. You know, um, DS1, you know, you can't beat it, it's a classic sound. Um, you know, I always keep my Boss tuner on the board, that's not left me. Um, but I've tried different Boss pedals overdrives, you know, the O Turbo overdrive and, you know, Turbo Distortion, very good pedals. Um, you know, the SD1, a very good pedal as well. Um, but this one's not doing it for me. Um, I was expecting more. Um, people hype about this tremolo pedal, this Boss tremolo pedal. Um, it's not the tremolo sound I want. Um, very, very, very impressed with the uh, the Ruby fuzz. Um, the fuzz pedal is staying on the board. It's going at the start, definitely. Um, you know, my MXR's brilliant. My, you know, reverb's brilliant. My distortion freeze brilliant. But the the Boss pedal is going to go. Um, it's not for me. The Boss tremolo pedal. I'll be honest with you, uh, I was expecting better. It just sounds a bit of a mess, even when you add the fuzz. I don't know if because it's buffered or or what. I've tried it in different places and stuff, but it just doesn't sound like the 60s tremolo sound I want and I know. I'm, I'm that blues type of guy, and I think I think too much of tremolo. I think I expect too much. Personally, I thought the TC Electronic one I had was much better. It was the sound I was after. Maybe I should have kept that, but I didn't. I sold it to fund something else. Pure gas. But maybe I should go back to that or look at, you know, another, another you know, tremolo pedal. But uh, the Boss tremolo pedal is not for me. Uh, it might be for you, but this is an honest review, and the Ruby Fuzz is, yeah, it's my fuzz. It's brilliant. It's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic fuzz panel. Love it. Um, simple. That's this is what I like about uh, simple pedals. Simple pedals, straight up. Two knobs, three knobs, straight up. Um, yeah. In fact, I love all my pedals. 
just the boss pedal's got to go. Sorry, boss, but you're not the boss today. All right, like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.